So mechanical engineering in Germany is like really tough to get. So I was not getting. I was like depressed at that time. <laughs> <laughs> I had aggregate of sixty percent. Sixty percent. And now they are in public university, guys, and they got admit from seven universities. Am I right? You have to write your exam in German or in English, or it depends on the subject. Like if it is a German language. Hey, subject. so today I am in a really nice cafe, and I have two of my subscribers and friends with me. One is Shino, one is Shavan. So he's Shavan. You know, hi. Hi. <laughs> and we are having coffee, which we spilled. And today I'm going to interview them. These are mechanical uh, background and have taken admission in German thought program. So it's going to be a very interesting video. So watch it till the end. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, then my name is Shraddha, and these have taken admission in German thought program. I have so many queries about German thought program, how it is, how did you learn German? So I'm going to talk and grill them like anything with questions, and want to give you as much as information as possible. So do not forget to watch this video till the end if you want to take admission with less grades. And let me say it again with less grades. Okay, so Shravan and Shino. So, what was your background in bachelors? What were you doing? What's like a little introduction of your background? I was doing mechanical engineering. Um, I was doing the 2015 to 19 batch, and after that, I was like working for a one year in Infosys. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I tried to apply to universities at that frame, time frame, okay. but I was not getting. Like, I was trying with my IELTS. I had my IELTS at English taught programs, but I was not getting admission to mechanical engineering. That was my stream. So mechanical engineering in Germany is like really tough to get. So I was not getting. I was like depressed at that time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But then. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's park it for some time. Okay. Then Shravan. Yeah, I have a very similar story. I uh, story. I did my mechanical like uh, I completed my. Uh, Uh, engineering in 2017. Okay. Uh, then I started working. Uh, like uh, then uh, I came to know about this uh, from a colleague from my office. He he was he applied to Germany. Like he got admit. So you are also from mechanical background. Yeah. You have work experience in mechanical or. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I asked. Then I asked him like uh, he got an admit from uh, this job for uh, in Germany for mm -hmm. master. Mm -hmm. So and then I inquired about him. uh then he told me that it's a free education uh, so that that thing like uh, clicked in my mind oh it's free so <laughs> so yeah. then i started my research and all so i like uh, went on dart website found some courses then i came to know that my marks weren't that sufficient for uh, getting into a english short program yeah. then uh, even uh, then i then, then after uh, like i didn't give up like i knew like there was a second route as well doing a master uh, german taught program okay so okay, i start now you have to stop <laughs> yeah. i have to come up with second question so now i have to come up with the second question which is so so you knew you are from master uh, you are from mechanical your grades are not that enough did you try in english courses and then you got to know that it's not sufficient or uh, directly someone told you and then you started preparing german how was it actually i tried for english courses mm -hmm. at first because like uh, after my uh, bachelors i had given my uh, ielts exam yeah. so i have tried with my ielts score to get into like english taught program but then when the uh, results came out i i couldn't get the admit how many universities did you apply for english taught i applied to like 3 or 4 that's all So three or four universities, no success. And your score during bachelors? Can I ask that because they have less score as compared to mechanical? I would say. I was having seven point one seven CGPA. Yeah. And what about you, Shravan? I had aggregate of sixty percent. Sixty percent. Yeah. And now they are in public university, guys, and they got admit from seven universities. Am I right? Seven public. Seven, seven public universities. Seven public universities. Yeah. universities so that is something amazing so we have to talk about it okay and then you thought 
that okay we need to go for another way which is german taught program and then you started learning german i know that is a very 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 uh, uh scary thing for so many indian students who want to study but there is a hope guys so they will talk about how they manage and what you need to do if you want to take admission in public university in german taught program okay from you shinu like if you want to come to germany like your scores are really low yeah. then what you can really do is like uh, learn till b1 give the exam and you can start applying to any uh, german taught program i'm sure that you will get into any course you, you select like if it is german taught you will surely get it but you will be getting a uh, conditional admit yeah. so it will serve as a motivation to go further in german like they will there will be a level they'll be asking for you to get to get to that full admit so you you will eventually need to get to that level but even does the job of like getting you an admit getting admit is important Conditional yeah admit. okay so that's what you would also suggest so you completed until b1 and then you applied again but then i want to understand here how did you uh, manage to get that uh, enrollment because they asked for until b2 or c1 sometimes so did you further came here to study or did you complete it in india and then you came here and enroll yourself actually we were learning the language in india itself yeah cheaper cheaper learning in india yeah so coming here and it it, it can be expensive so it, it's a, always a good option uh, learning uh, the language in india so you can uh, join any language institute because there there it will be more structured structured and you can learn uh, the language really well and uh, uh, the exams what they ask is uh, like test tap you need to clear test tap either test tap or uh, say ains some universities like few quite a few universities that give admit on b2 as well so you guys need to like go through the university website and check what they what they need and the good thing about the getting uh, uh, into a german taught program is that they the it's not very strict uh, like you don't need to write sop like for most of the universities no sop no lr lor only your mark sheets and uh, your degree certificate and your german uh, language certificate that's all you need just apply to the uni and you get the admit that's so good so for everyone who want to come to germany and have low grades they can take this advantage of uh, coming or, or fulfill their dream of coming to germany by yeah uh, and learn german because anyway it would be very useful when you go for job opportunities yeah, right also, also like uh, german learning german was the like it served its purpose like when i reached here like everything was in german yeah. like the lifestyle is completely in german they are speaking german everywhere so eventually you need to uh, anyway pick up the language even if you are doing an english taught course okay so my next question is how hard was it for you for someone because many of my audience wants to know how difficult it is for uh, english speaker or a person who has studied throughout their life in english and all of a sudden they have to write the exams in german so how hard was it is it hard or is it it's like it's it's like okay it's a child's play actually german is uh, difficult but like given the fact that most of the students have done engineering it's not that <laughs> difficult <laughs> if you can clear engineering then german is not that not difficult that hard. Yeah so so choose your battle whether you want to find job in english that is again a battle and that would be harder battle or you want to learn german until b1 b2 level in india but i have also heard shravan you're saying that um german in india is better and cheaper yes it is but i have seen that they teach you just to clear exams and you actually struggle when you are here in speaking and understanding so is it true uh see if you get conditional admit there are like many universities that offer german courses as well like if you you can come here as well and study german yeah. like it's like minimal fees you pay to the uni and you can clear the exam here itself yeah. so it's uh, depends on the person who want, is learning german so if he prefers to study in india he can do that or if he can come here anyone can can come here and yeah. do the language courses that university offers and clear the examination so yeah uh, like uh, like Uh, both are like pros and cons to every side like uh, learning here would be better because you can speak uh, on the streets and all and in india it's difficult but it's still manageable 
it's manageable yeah. okay i have also had like friends who are telling me like now they want to learn german they couldn't do it in india now when they are trying to do it it's very costly yeah I mean it is costly I invested money here yeah. because I never uh, did there so it's kind of costly but yeah. then I would say it's also it's easy because you have natural setting you go and order you yeah. learn in the class how to order ish hatte gyan oder ish mishte whatever so and then you practice it here and see how it works right so that's why and you're more open you're not shy here i feel like that i would like suggest you to get some till b1 in india it would be like beneficial it's like the basics of Basic. german yeah. then you can like build on that after coming here yeah. then it will you will have a good experience actually true and the question that i want to know like then in german you applied okay how many universities you applied and how many acceptances or rejections did you get Three English taught, all three rejected. Yeah. Uh, then like twelve, eleven, eleven in uh, German taught. I got like ten. Ten acceptance. Yeah, so acceptance rate is really high if you apply to German taught programs. And it's it's like and mind you, he's from mechanical, but he was applying to management side courses, right? Yeah, I was applying to management side and also logistics courses. So is it in demand here? Why yeah, are you actually, uh, logistics is a uh, good field here. You get like compared to other core branches, like uh, logistics has a good uh, future here actually. Okay. Yeah, What about like center of Europe? Germany is the center of Europe, so logistics play a big role here. So getting a job after your masters and all is very easy. Like logistics is a Easier. And what about you, Shravan? How many courses did you apply? How yes, many rejections? Like same, and we got acceptance. Same. So ten. Ten. Applied to ten and got acceptance yeah. from yeah. seven yeah. or eight. We were very confused which course to choose. <laughs> and all were like good university. Yeah, TU. No yeah, yeah, yeah. No fees. To start. Yeah. No goal start. Goal start. Goal start. But like we wanted this course, so we selected this. Year. So uh, right now we haven't talked about which course are you in. Right <laughs> I'm doing te uh, Technische Log Logistik. It's like a bilingual course, so you can like do your course in English or German. So that's an advantage we got. We were aiming for German taught program, but we were lucky that this course is bilingual and we can do it in like, both languages. But few compulsory subjects are there which are only in German. But yeah, that, I think that will be manageable. But then I have a question. Some people say that okay, dual. language course but you have to write your exam in german or in english or it depends on the subject like if it is a german language subject then of course in german and then if it is english we what? we are lucky enough that we we can write in english as well <laughs> see guys <laughs> like they cheated like i don't <laughs> like there will be english question yeah. below that there will be german so you can either write in english or german guys anyone mechanical engineers out there these are the living proof that you can make it happen you can come to germany write your exam in english but at least have b1 b2 level certificate If anyone is determined to come here there's there are always ways you can find so we found this way and we are here yeah and another question that i have is um is it like easy to apply of your own did you apply of your own or did you go to a consultancy how did you manage i would never say anyone to go to a consultancy like they will like charge you a lot of money they like do they do nothing it's very easy everything is available on the internet you just have to open the watch uni web channel watch my channel <laughs> yeah watch our channel every information you'll find there uh, <laughs> just go to the website and uh, see what requirements are there and just simply apply it's very easy it is actually easy and I, and the the statement that i always make is that they are doing a business they don't care whether you get admission or not it's your responsibility and anyway after coming to germany guys you have to get organized you have to do everything of your own there one more thing about consultancies yeah. there will be some consultancies that they do it for free but they get you admitted into a private yeah. university and they get money from them and you you pay a higher tuition fees as well so that's totally not and it's even it is not recognized like it's not a good reputed university Right. in germany yeah. getting well, into a public have some hold with certain universities yeah. and it will be like low quality universities yeah. 
and you might be eligible for a free education better better university free education and why not going for TUs yeah of course so it's as simple as that if you have good grades apply for english dot if you have bad grades learn german for a year and apply that's only one year one year of hard work and you will be in german so one year of hard work so how much time did it take for you guys to learn the language a1 until c1 i guess you are c1 right now. c1 i did till test draft uh, it took like one uh, one year and like 3 months or something one year 3 months yeah same same we were same, the same, same. he's same 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 like we did everything together and yeah so they met each other in this german uh, classes learning institute and that's how they they get to know each other they applied together they planned everything together and here here they are together meeting me yeah, and learning german will be tough but you guys don't, don't need to give up there will be some stages that like you will feel that you need you should give up and all but you continue learning it and but it will improve yeah that's that's really important because so, so many times we get disheartened yeah. it's not going to work but it will work yeah. keep up the good work and just go for it uh, the last question which university are you in right now <laughs> university of duisburg essen duisburg essen same same <laughs> okay thank you so much shravan and shino for this interview i'm really happy to have you and i hope these my audience would have learned so much got insights how they can plan their studies in german taught program or <laughs> find a way to yeah, english taught program yeah if only applying for german taught then you can message us on instagram as well we'll we'll be happy to happy share to yeah happy to help. great happy to help like me okay and if you haven't subscribed to my channel this is a request because i will be making more and more videos collecting more experiences like these two so that i bring you more information so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching this video bye ciao ciao ciao, ciao. <laughs> okay